Hello, this is the CAD CAM Lessons channel. In this video, I'll explain what a parametric 3D CAD system is. I'll keep it short and try to explain it as simply as possible so you understand what it's all about. I'll show you this using FreeCAD, which is a parametric 3D CAD system and it's completely free software. A parametric 3D CAD system is a type of computer-aided design software, or CAD software, where three-dimensional models are created and modified using parameters. These are variables such as dimensions, angles, radii, geometric dependencies, and other relations between geometries. The most important features of such software are, first, parametricity. This means every element of the model, for example, a hole, edge or solid can be described by dimensions and dependencies. If we change, for instance, the diameter of a hole, the program automatically updates the entire model. Next, geometric relations and constraints. We can specify that, for example, two edges must be parallel, or that a hole is always on the symmetry axis and wall thickness is constant. Another important feature is operation history, the model tree. This means the model is built step by step and every operation is registered and saved. At any moment during design, we can edit that operation. These are the main features of a parametric 3D CAD system. Now I'll show you this with an example. I'll create a very simple shape here. I'll create, for example, a rectangle. Here we're already defining parameters. I'm specifying that the length of this rectangle side is 100 millimeters and the length of this rectangle side is 70 millimeters. These are already parameters. This rectangle is parametrized, its dimensions are defined by parameters. Now I'll create a circle and additional circles. I'll place the center circle between the rectangle vertices. I'll use a relation here that specifies the center of this circle lies symmetrically between the rectangle vertices. Next, I'll define the dimension of this circle, so I'm also defining a parameter here. The dimension of this circle is 15 millimeters. What's more, I can do this in such a way that I name this parameter D1. Okay, and I'll use this parameter to define the diameter of this circle. I'll select dimensioning here, press the D key. Okay. And here, I'll use an equation. And specify that the diameter of this circle is 5 millimeters smaller than the diameter of this circle. OK. This is also a parameter, but this parameter isn't entered as a fixed value. This parameter is dependent on the diameter of this circle. As for the diameter of this circle, I'll link the diameter of this circle with a constraint to the diameter of this circle and specify that these diameters should be equal to each other. Now I'll also define the position of these circles. I'll use a symmetry constraint here so that these smaller circles are placed between the center of the larger circle and the rectangle vertex. This sketch is parametric, it's parametrized. A parametric sketch and parametric model doesn't just mean that every parameter is described by some letter and has its reference in some parameter table, and from the parameter table level, we can change these parameters. Of course, we can do this here too. We can create such a parameter table, and from the parameter table level, we can change these parameters. But this isn't the main requirement for calling a model and sketch a parametric sketch. When creating sketches and 3D models in FreeCAD, they are inherently parametric because every dimension is a parameter we can change. Now I'll close the sketch and based on this sketch, we'll create a solid with a height of 10 millimeters. Okay, now I'll go to edit this sketch. Even after creating this solid, I can change the sketch dimensions. I can change the parameters. Now watch what happens when I change the diameter of this circle. Automatically, the diameters of these circles were also changed. Now I'll close the sketch and the changes have been applied to the model. So for a model and 3D CAD system to be parametric, we don't need to create a spreadsheet with a parameter table and define all parameters there. 
The mere fact that we create a model in FreeCAD, especially in the part design module, means this model is parametric because at every stage of creating the 3D model, we can return to previous operations and change selected parameters. So I want to emphasize here that simply creating a 3D model this way means we're creating a parametric model. Regarding 3D CAD systems, we also have non-parametric systems that use a direct modeling approach. The difference is that there we work on the model. We don't have any parameters. We just introduce all changes directly to the model. Now I'll show you this with an example. I've launched Plasticity, which is exactly such a non-parametric 3D CAD system. Here notice I can also create a rectangle with specific dimensions. And based on this rectangle, I can create a model with a specific height. But in this case, if I change the rectangle dimensions, This has no effect on the solid. This model is no longer linked to the sketch. If I want to make any changes, I must do this directly on the model. For example, if I want to enlarge this model, I can simply drag it a bit and this model will be enlarged. The situation is similar with holes. I can create a hole here. I must do this a bit differently than in a parametric system because we don't have relations here. I simply create such a circle anywhere and move this circle by the appropriate value along the selected axis. Based on such a circle, I can create a hole. OK, I have a hole created here. Similarly, this hole is no longer linked to the circle, because if I now select the circle and change the diameter of this circle, this has no effect on the hole. But here, for example, if I want to change the diameter of this hole, I can also do this freely. I can specify the exact value by which I want to increase the diameter of this hole. Even though the direct modeling approach might seem like a disadvantage at first glance, this is not the case at all. It's simply a different approach to 3D modeling that in certain situations can have many advantages. When it comes to, for example, quick conceptual modeling, we really have many possibilities here because notice that I can freely move features on the model. I don't need to define any parameters. If I want to move a hole or introduce some changes, I do this on the model. Thanks to this, we can create 3D models very quickly and have great possibilities for introducing changes. We're not limited by parameters, which in the case of quick conceptual modeling can be a big advantage. But I'm mentioning this just as a curiosity to show you the difference between a parametric system and a system where we don't use parameters. So to summarize, a parametric model is a model described using parameters and relations. This doesn't have to mean these parameters are in a spreadsheet and from the spreadsheet level we can change these parameters. Simply, a model created in a parametric 3D CAD system, for example in FreeCAD, is parametric because this is simply the principle of building 3D models here. And that's where we'll finish. Thank you for watching and please subscribe to this channel.